Last fall, Winnebago introduced the Voyage series in both a fifth wheel and a travel trailer. The premise behind the Voyage was to give consumers more. We also wanted to have the Winnebago customer that owned a micro or a mini to have the ability to move up into a, a more full featured travel trailer that had bigger appliances, bigger suspension, uh, more features and amenities than what we had offered prior to. This year, we've made a ton of changes and we're excited to show you our new fall decors and what we have in store. For the Voyage Travel Trailer, it all starts with the foundation. We're actually running on a drop frame chassis, which I'll get to the benefits here in a second. What, on the wheel and tires, you're running on E-rated tires that actually have an L speed rating. So this trailer can go up to 75 miles per hour. You're running on 5,200 pound axles, and we actually have a wider offset here in our suspension so that it's safer to tow and pull the larger travel trailer. The Voyage Trailer has two entry doors. Both of them are on a friction hinge that friction hinge allows you so if the wind is blowing, it holds it in place. We give you a screen door as well as a window on both of them. The front stairs are your traditional aluminum pullout steps. Your main entry has the larger Moride pullout steps. The drop frame allows you to have more pass through storage in this area. So that gives you about eight to 10 inches of more storage for your camping gear. The pass through storage is fully lined and well lit. The front of the trailer, you've actually moved the spare tire up into the A-frame here. It allows you for easy access and gives us better weight distribution on the length of the trailer. And one of the new options for this year is the BAL 5.1 stabilizing system. The BAL 5.1 stabilizing system allows me to actually run all of my stabilizing jacks right here from the front of the trailer. So these controls control the uh, front landing gear and then you can individually control all of your stabilizers for the coach. There's also a button that allows you to retract all so you can control the whole coach right from this one position. One of the other key features I want to show you is the universal docking station. This feature is usually found on higher end fifth wheels or motorhomes that's all enclosed. The enclosed feature allows if there's ever water intrusion in here it doesn't bleed through the rest of your pass through storage. This area here allows you to have your cable connections, your solar prep will be right here, your battery disconnect, the UDC also comes with an exterior shower that gives you hot and cold water. One of the great features here is you can actually run all of your connections up through the exterior of your coach and close it with your exterior baggage door. With the Voyage, we offer the slam baggage doors with a key to lock. Some other exterior features that we want to highlight on the Voyage travel trailer are the power awning with LED light. We also have outlets right here on the campsite so you can get the power to any features that you want outside. The All Voyage Travel Trailers also come standard with a 10 gallon water heater. Now let's take a look at some of the inside amenities. So we're inside the all new 2831 RB. The Voyage Travel Trailer comes with seven foot tall ceilings and is an eight foot wide footprint. New for the fall is our Brooklyn decor. This is our new pear tree maple with an accent of an Appalachian maple. So you got a little bit of a light and dark within our interior wood decors. You'll see lighter floors, you'll see a darker vinyl on all of our furniture. We talked about the Voyage giving you more features and more amenities, and this is really where it comes to fruition. Into our travel trailer, we start with a large fireplace that gives you 5,000 BTUs of heat. The nice thing about having a fireplace standard is it's electric and it can act as a space heater in here and not utilizing the propane uh, to heat the coach. You get large 43 inch LED TVs, and all the TVs come on a swivel bracket. So no matter where you are in the coach, you've got good viewing areas. So if I'm in the kitchen area and I'm making breakfast, watching TV, I can still listen to the news. The great thing about the TV being on a swivel is I've got full access to all my HDMI connections. All of our coaches also come with Wi-Fi prep. So behind the TV, you actually have your Wi-Fi prep area where you can mount your router and it's discre discreetly positioned behind the TV. One of the things that we're also making standard in all of our Winnebago trailers is the wireless cell phone charger. We put it strategically next to the TV so it can sit here and charge, where I can also run an HDMI cable to my TV in case I want to stream a show, stream a video for my family to watch. Some of the other interior features that we want to focus on is the optional 12 cubic refrigerator. The 12 cubic refrigerator offers a ton of space, both in the freezer and the fridge. The nice thing about the Dometic brand reefer that we use is this is a full pass through right here. So it gives me more storage space and I'm not limited to just small individual compartments. 
In the kitchen, we offer a full 30 inch convection microwave. The 30 inch convection microwave is an amenity that you would normally see on much more expensive type of RVs, motor homes, and fifth wheels. The three burner cooktop with LED backlit knobs. We have a single bowl farm style sink with heavy duty pull out sprayer. So in the Voyage trailer, we've been very strategic about the cabinet placement, location, and depth. This cabinet right here is actually a deeper cabinet that allows for storage for bowls and plates. Cabinet right here, a little more shallow, but longer depth. You don't have styles in the middle. This gives you an opportunity to put plenty of cups and Tupperware up here. We've got plenty of doors and drawers for all your utensils. We even have cabinets that are wide open, a little more versatile. You could put, um, cookie sheets and things like that that you're going to need for your baking. Now, as we move into the bedroom, I want to highlight a lot of places in the Voyage we use the pocket style doors. These are designed so that you can move a little more efficiently throughout the coach versus having the cumbersome swing doors. In the Voyage bedroom, all floor plans have an optional king bed. And as you can see, even with the king bed, we have plenty of storage on both left hand and right hand side to accommodate for CPAPs iPad, cell phones, any other nighttime reading material you may want. Each end cabinet opens up so you have hanging material so you can hold your, your shirts, longer pillows. We also have a full size wardrobe on the off door side to give you more hanging space, spots for folding clothes, and even a cubby that could kick out to store your shoes. Each bedroom is designed with windows on each side so you get good cross ventilation. The Voyage trailer runs on 50 amp power. So what that allows us to do is have a main 15K AC as well as an optional second 13K AC. Our AC system is called our True Tracks AC. So what that means is we have a duct system that allows it to be more efficient, giving you more cool air to take out the heat of those hot summer days. In the 2831, we offer an optional L Chase Lounge. The L Chase Lounge is a very versatile piece of furniture. First off, it has additional storage right here under the, the lounge then it does also fold out to make for additional sleeping. The two top cushions come out really easy. The bottom has a simple pull-out mech with two legs that fold down and then the back just flips. So in what is traditionally just a couple's coach can actually break down and have sleeping for up to six people. The two in the bedroom, two right here, and the booth dinette breaks down to make into even more sleeping. Just like the bedroom, the bathroom also has a pocket door for ease of entry and exit. We have ample counter space, so it's easier to get ready in the mornings. You've got a glass mirror for the vanity, plenty of storage for your personal items. You also have large storage areas right here for your towels and your linens. The shower space is a 32 by 36, and with Voyage increased seven foot height, you have plenty of room for those taller individuals. We have a max air vent fan, as well as a window here, so there's plenty of fresh air that can circulate throughout the restroom. I'm excited to talk to you now about the Voyage fifth wheel. And the Voyage fifth wheel starts with our W series foundation. The W series foundation starts with our Lippert frame. It's their new flush floor upper deck frame that allows us a ton of versatility on floor plans, which we'll highlight more once we get in the inside. Some of the key principles of the W series foundation for us starts in the tires and the axles. We're running on G rated tires, 7,000 pound axles. And we also have, which you can kind of see under here is our road armor suspension. The road armor suspension complements the leaf springs. It helps with the up and down as well as in the forward and reverse motion that you can get when pulling your travel trailer. The W series frame is a traditional 10 inch drop frame that allows for strength, durability, but more important, maximum pass-through storage. As we get up here to the front of the coach, you can see with the drop frame, you pick up another 10 inches of storage right in this area. One of the things that we were also strategic on when we designed our pass-through storage was we did, an, we did an over and under design that from the front side where your generator would sit, we, we've enclosed it, but giving you more storage up here so you have spots for your small goods, your uh, patio furniture, your tables and chairs that we go. So we've tried to utilize every square inch of your exterior storage with the new W Series Foundation. To complement it, we've also added a Rotoflex pin box as an option. The Rotoflex also helps with that back and forth motion, that chucking that you can get when you're pulling your traditional travel trailer or fifth wheel. 
This provides a premium towing experience when you're pulling the Winnebago Voyage 5th. One of the last items I want to highlight for our fall model change is a new partial paint design on our front cap and enhanced graphics package for our fall 2021 program. Now, let's go check on the inside. So I'm excited to highlight the Voyage 3436 FL. This floor plan is a front living room that's just under 40 feet. We've been very intentional in the design of our cabinets as well as the footprint of this coach. Right when you walk in, we've utilized every square inch. You open this cabinet door and you've got a coat closet. You open the other side and you've got a large pantry. This countertop here has a great complement to the kitchen where I actually have a space for our coffee maker. One of the key features of the Voyage is everything is run off of LCI's One Control device. So the One Control allows me to control my awning, my leveling, and my lighting all from this touch screen. Let's move up to the front living room. When we talked earlier about the W Series foundation, one of the key elements of it is LCI Space Saver Upper Deck. So this gives us a full flush floor upper deck that allows us a lot of versatility in our floor plans. That's what gives us the flexibility to give a front living room at about 40 feet, where traditionally these type of floor plans are anywhere from 42 to 44 feet in excess. This front living room gives you two opposing sofas that both pull out to make beds, as well as a theater seat. The front living room here has a front windshield with a pop-up television that can easily be stored when you don't want to have that in front of you and have a nice camp view. The fireplace in here is a 42 inch fireplace, also a 5000 BTU, so it gives off a lot of radiant heat when you don't need to run your propane. Now, let's take a look down the kitchen. Some of the amenities I want to point out in the kitchen are first, the solid surface countertop. Solid surface countertops are mold and mildew resistant. They also allow you the opportunity if they get nicked or scuffed that they can be buffed and polished out to new condition. Our sink is a large single basin farm style with a pull out faucet. When it comes to appliances, it starts with a 30 inch convection microwave. We have a three burner cooktop with a large oven. The oven and cooktop is complemented with LED backlit knobs. We have a ton of doors and drawers here, include a pull out wastebasket for a trash can, deep drawers for utensils, and plenty of overhead storage for plates, bowls, and cups. The dining room table comes standard with two solid chairs. There's also two folding chairs that can easily be stored underneath the bed. 12 cube refrigerator is an option. The standard is our 10 cubic all electric refrigerator. Let's go check out the back end of the coach. This unit is shown with the optional king bed. The king bed has additional storage underneath. This additional storage can hold the fold up dinette chairs. You could also put storage for your large linens under here. Even with the king bed, you can see we got ample room to move around the bed. Right here, you see plenty of storage area, both hanging for the wardrobe, as well as doors and drawers for your other items. The bedroom is complemented with multiple windows. So you got a lot of natural light and breeze that can come through here. You have the optional bedroom television, as well as on the end of each bed, you have your 12 volt and your USB outlets that could accommodate plugging in your cell phone or the evenings or running your CPAP if needed. In the bathroom of this front living room, as you can see, it's got a second opening door, so it's kind of like an ensuite to your master bedroom. We've utilized pocket doors for ease of entry and exit into this space. The bathroom is highlighted with a large shower. You've got tall ceilings, you've got max air vent fan standard. One of the keys about our front living room is that in our large closet here, we actually offer space where you could incorporate an all-in-one washer and dryer. If you don't want the washer and dryer, you'll have a hanging clothes right here so you have additional wardrobe space. Thank you for viewing the Voyage series today. We're super excited about our interior decors and our new fall lineup. We can't wait for the new floor plans to land at your dealership's lot.